hi everybody welcome back to another video Sweetie. yes welcome back to another video today is sunday and today i'm going to one of my friend's birthday dinner type of thing we're gonna get together have a little dinner so her birthday's on wednesday but sunday's the only day she's free so yeah also got these new earrings which are so pretty they're like crystals you can see yeah, well this one kind of broke so I have to like hot glue on it back, but I really like it. I got it at the pharmacy, which is a steal. Um, what else is there? What else? Today I had church, and then I just, uh, that's it. <laughs> I don't know, I had church, and then I came home and watched movies. Oh, I watched Balthazar, which is a French TV show, which I've been really liking. It's a crime, it's like Bones, kind of. I do think Bones is a lot, but I might actually like re-watch Bones after this. But yeah. I'm really enjoying that. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, how cute! This camera <laughs> can kind of see it. Wednesday and I just got home from hanging out with my friend Kathy. Went for a bit of brunch and talked and chilled. I thought I'd film kind of like my self-care or self-maintenance, my physical self-maintenance and how I maintain myself physically. If that makes sense. As in like keep myself clean and fresh. And I thought I'd show you my routine for that because I don't know, I really like looking at other people's routines, so I thought I'd show you my one. Um, also, I wanted to preface that physical beauty thingy isn't everything. It's also really important to take care of yourself spiritually and mentally in terms of your relationship with God, as I am a Christian, if you didn't know. Um, so yeah, that's also very, very important, and you should determine your worth on your... You shouldn't base your worth on your physical beauty or your physical appearance it's something that i struggle with a lot but i am still learning and growing and trying to change my mindset on that but even though physical beauty isn't everything it's still important to take care of yourself hygienically and it does make it does make you feel more confident so i thought i'd show you the things that i do like hair and like skin so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take care of my hair. I haven't washed my hair in a few days and it's really oily and kind of gross. So I'm going to wash my hair but I thought I'd show you what I do to my hair to keep it like healthy and um, hydrated and all that kind of stuff. I use grapeseed oil. And I put it, I like massage it in the roots and then also put it all over my head of hair as well. You just want to like, like scoop it. <laughs> I'll it, yeah, scoop it and then you just massage it in your head. I do notice the hair is actually a lot softer, shinier, tight. There's a lot of hair that comes out of my head. Ew. And you're going to leave it in like this for an hour. I 
washed my hair I'm gonna brush it and then I use leave-in conditioner this is the Asano coconut milk leave-in conditioner I'm put this much in not too much take this and then just pull it all over your hair and this just really seals in the moisture because when you use actual conditioner you're supposed to leave it in for like, like three to five minutes and when i'm in the shower i'm not bothered for that yeah and then to let it air dry i don't blow dry anything i want to get my nails done for a really long time but nails are really expensive they're like 70 50 bucks and i don't want to spend that much money on nails so i bought these stick on nails now stick on nails are really hard to find because my fingers are really small it's a super slim fit and they actually fit my fingernails so i'm gonna stick these on so i have like nice looking long nails bathroom because now we're gonna do my skincare and my face night routine these are the finished nails and i love them so much i can't really tell them right now but they're gradient so they're gonna go pink to white but my lighting is just so yellow you can't really see anything I've been really into skincare and taking care of my skin and I've been really trying to research more about it and figure out this problem with my skin that I have but they're not that big they're just things that kind of bug me small things that bug me like some red oh you can't really tell but I have like some redness some rosacea around my cheeks it's not too like big but it's something I noticed diving into new products I've been wanting to try but before we go into that I'm going to do my normal skincare routine so the first thing I do is my cellar water to get rid of the makeup all that kind of stuff I use a, I don't use a cotton pad because um, I ran out of some and I've just been using my hands ever since so now you kind of want to wash with no clean water Cleansing my face is something I take um, a bit more seriously now because I don't cleanse in the morning. Uh, I only cleanse at night. So I really like to try and really just get everything out of my face at night. Next, for my next cleanser, I use the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. I've used this for years actually. Before I switched to the La Roche Posay and it really dried out my skin and I was just not good at my skin and I went back to this. So, I'm really loving it. Put on your hands and you just pull up your face. Um, the, the skincare tips that I've been acquiring is from Shireen Ad Idris on YouTube and she's also on Instagram as well. And she gives really nice skincare advice and she also tells you the science behind it, like why your skin might be acting that way and how the products help. I really like instead of seeing just like this is your problem and this is and it's the product you can fix it and I really 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 also really like how she recommends products that you can find like in your local pharmacy or at a drugstore place that isn't really high end it just makes it a lot more affordable and I really like how she said that skincare doesn't have to be really expensive because not, obviously not everybody can afford like me expensive products for their skin Okay, then you're gonna want to pack dry. I also recently just finished my moisturizer, the one that I would use like every time I get run out of it. It's the Dr. Lowen's moisturizer. I've been using that one for you know, one or two years now. I don't really change up my products, but I thought I'd change it up because I legit just finished it today and I thought I'd try something new. And oh, this is better, it's less red. 
Um, so yeah, I got this new one. This one is, I think it's actually pretty expensive. But I got it on sale, so it wasn't that expensive. It was like 33 bucks for two of these. It's all in the bag, actually. I don't normally have an extensive skincare routine, to be honest with you. So it gives you a free mini serum. And... Well, Apparently this is 100% vitamin C. I do have quite dull skin, dull, dull skin. I'm not sure if that's because of my... Why is there so much on... I'm use a tweezer. I'm not sure if that's because of my like skin colour, because I have olive skin. So maybe it's a bit dull. Not really sure. So these products are very natural, that's what the lady said. <laughs> she said it's also... Um, it's also the, the made in use. Wow! I already tried this one in the store. Um, if you go to chats with price, oh, shizzle my nuggets. If you go to chats with Priceline, there's one worker called Azzy, and he's amazing. He's legit so funny, but he knows so much about skincare, it's insane. And he basically helped me pick out some skincare products that might work on my skin. And you just, I'm guessing you just do this. I just put that on for now. Just in case. My skin doesn't work well with it. And dab it on my skin. Oh, I've got it in my nose, that's gross. It smells really nice, actually. It feels quite nice. Oh, so much stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm using As Clear. The azoclade acid that Shun Address recommended, they don't have it in my local only because she lives in New York. I'm not sure if this is going to like do anything to be honest with Eye cream. After doing my skincare, I'm now going to put lip balm and hand cream. The lip balm I recommend is a dermal therapy lip balm original if you can tell i wrote a blog post about this so if you're more interested you can see that but it is absolutely amazing i highly 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 recommend it i got my friend on this as well and it's super super moisturizing and it feels super nice it's a lot better i prefer this way over like vaseline and purple ointment so yeah so i'm gonna have to use the azelaic acid and the new moisturizer I got before I recommend it to you because I don't actually know how well it's going to go unless I use it over a period of time but I'll update you guys if you want me to and now I'm also going to use a bit of hand cream because you also need to get, keep your hands nice and soft too and the hand cream I use is surprise surprise the more therapy hand balm it is so good. Um, I'm almost finished this and I've only used it for like a few weeks, which is very surprising because usually hand creams are very hard to finish. And it smells super, super nice too. Nice soft hands, nice soft moisturized face. I'm a happy person. I'm a happy, happy girl.